Now, this item is not going to be reordered. It's, it's seldom that you see a big deal. I'm right out of the gate. I say no reorder. But this is the case on this great buy. And so what we wanted to do is bring you a six-piece cutlery set from Cooking Light Magazine. Yeah, that Cooking Light Magazine. And protective covers and also a cutting board. That cutting board is 11 by 14 inches. This is really extraordinary. Chef Jeremy Parker, our knife dude, a.k.a. knife dude, <laughs> is here to talk to us about these knives. These are really exceptional knives. And I can tell you, we mentioned this earlier in the show, and over 200 sets have been ordered. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Cooking Lights put together a beautiful set of knives. And each one of these knives comes with a sheath, so you can take them with you. These are the knives I always travel with, David, by the way, because they have these sheaths that Great. don't come off. They have molded handles on them, so... They won't break like some riveted handles tend to. And they have this nice uh, dark coating. See that right there? It's like a gunmetal coating. That's actually titanium on there. And it's bonded on there so it, it hardens and protects that blade. And the best part is they are razor absolutely sharp. I've never sharpened this knife. They're going to come to you that sharp. You get every knife you'll need in the kitchen. And David, they're going to last you for years to come. All are complete, and you do get a cutting board to go with it. So let's come back here, and yes. Chef Jeremy, I'd love for you to give us a tour sure. of the knives. Yeah. And we're going to shoot, I'm hoping, okay. um, <clears throat> down on this or overhead. And uh, so the camera's moving in. Here comes the camera. <laughs> and what we're going to do is take you through. So, Chef Jeremy, if you'll take us from smallest to largest. Okay, from smallest to largest. This is a three inch paring knife right there with the sheath. Then you get a five inch utility blade. That's a great meat knife and a great fruit knife. You get a five inch santoku knife with those scallops on the blade so it doesn't stick to tubers like potatoes. This is a six and a half inch. They call it a sandwich knife, a very special blade that's uh, hollow ground serrated. Next love to that. Love the sandwich knife. Love the sandwich and bagels. Next to that is a seven inch. Santoku knife also. It has that tip with it and the scallops on the blade. Next to that is your eight inch workhorse French knife. They all have sheaths and you get the non-slip cutting board. All of that complete. Now red is most popular. Okay. I also have it for you in gray. Notice the, um, the handle color of the knife and you probably can't see that very well so I'll pick it up for you. This is the gray and that's second most popular. Then I have it for you in black. And then blue is our most limited. I'm going to separate these a little bit so you can see them a little better. Now, 500 sets are already gone, okay. and we would recommend you hand wash this like any knife, right? That's right. Always hand wash your knives. Uh, it takes the best care of it. Let me just run through each knife, kind of give you an idea of and what And let me do. ask this question real yeah. quickly before you get started. Can okay. we sharpen these if we ever need to? Absolutely. With that sabatier sharpener. The sabatier you sharpener. You're going to have to sharpen every knife, no matter how good they are. These come razor sharp, but you can absolutely resharpen these knives, so not a problem. If someone ever and wants to sell you a, a knife that never needs to be sharpened, I've got a bridge in Brooklyn. Ex you exactly. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So this this is your eight inch chef's knife. Now this is that knife you're probably gonna use. It's not serrated, but you can see I'm doing this ripe tomato here. It's really easy to use. That's number one. Okay, number two, every kitchen should have a good- Beautiful tomatoes. Oh, thank you, yeah. Uh, I don't know I don't who's growing those this time of year, by the way, but- I don't know where they, uh, where I, they get such good tomatoes I, this time I, of it's year. It's wonderful, it's I know. story. I know, exactly, but okay, moving on. <laughs> we go like this all day. Three inch paring knife. I love these, David. They're about the size of your finger here. So when you need a small knife just for like cutting open artichokes or cutting the ends off of a, a radish or strawberry. Or avocado. Uh, yeah, exactly. You have the right size knife. It's really easy to work with. And then next to that is a five inch fruit knife. Now this is also a really good meat knife there if you need a good meat knife. I like this personally because it's flexible here. So this is my mango knife. Let me grab this mango. Because when you do a mango, you want to kind of hug that blade, cut it on this side, cut it on this side, and then you can go around this. If you do that with like an eight inch knife, you don't have as much control. You want a little bit of a bigger blade than a paring knife. And then the thing I love, I'll do one of these cuts, is to get this meat off of here because it's flexible. I can go between the skin and the meat and just cut that off. And that's why that's a great fruit knife like that. Okay, moving on. This is a five inch Santoku knife. Now, Santoku means three virtues, slicing, mincing, and chopping. So if you just want a smaller knife for like doing mushrooms or shallots or smaller things, but you don't need a big chef's knife for that, that's just a wonderful size knife for that. Moving on, here is that very special knife. I've never seen this anywhere else before. Cooking Light put this knife together. This is your sandwich knife for anybody who likes a good bagel in the morning, mm -hmm. or you want a knife for cutting you know, cutting bread, spreading mayonnaise and mustard. It is serrated, so we'll or look at it. Or smearing cream or, cheese. Oh, there we go. You can take this cream cheese here. It has a nice wide blade to it and smear 
that cream cheese right on there. My, I can't eat bagels. I'm doing the low carb thing, but are you? I'm so proud I, of you. That's fantastic. You were my inspiration. I'm buddy. so glad, Tim, buddy. Down 10 pounds. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you're 10 pounds down. 10 pounds down. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I always tell people if you're 10 pounds or 100 pounds, I am with you. Thank I you. am so excited for you. That's great. The journey continues. Thanks. Right. I know, right? And Some days are hungrier than others. <laughs> okay, and then last but not least, this is a seven-inch Santoku knife. It has a tip to it. You see, it has those scallops on the blade. What that does, it allows it to pass through hard things like this hard. Hard nut butter squash. Butternut butter nut squash. Butter, hard Easy for butter you to nut say. squash. There it is. Hard butter nut squash. <laughs> right. It goes through that. It's fibrous too, isn't it? That's right. Fibrous. And even if you want to go long ways here, it just allows it to sort of pass through that whole wow. squash like that. Oh, look at that. All that completely. And if you're cutting it in this and you hollow out all the seeds and the pulp, and that's how you roast them, right? You roast yeah. them uh, flesh side down. And I would just do the whole thing like that and roast it like that. And then, and the last but not least, let's not forget because we should always have an extra cutting board. Even though we usually have butcher blocks, because if you have raw chicken, cooked chicken, you need a place to rest it, I can actually come here, season these up, and the best part is you don't contaminate your butcher block underneath. Nice. This just goes right into the dishwasher to clean it. Yeah, that is one piece you'll put in the dishwasher. The knives, yeah. we want you to hand wash. Hand wash those, yeah. So let's take you through, and I'm going to come back over here, and, okay. and Chef Jeremy, just make sure that I uh, keep me honest go, on my size. Okay, go ahead, yes. Paring knife, utility knife. This Santoku is five inches long? Five inches, yes. And then you got your sandwich knife. This is a Santoku that is seven inches long, right? And yes. then finally the chef's knife. Eight inches. Now you get the sheaths, which is a fancy word for the cover, and you also get the cutting board, which is 11 by 14 inches in size. Now red is most popular. I also have this in gray. If you want black, I have 3,700 in the black, and finally if you want the blue, fewer than 3,000 in that blue. Now, this uh, 2,000 sets ordered in this show. This is the Cooking Light Cutlery Set. We are not going to reorder this set. It's rare that you hear me unveil a brand new big, or that's what we call big deals, big, <laughs> and then tell you in the same breath, and we're not reordering it, because we're not. We were able to get all that we could get our hands on, and that is it. That's why you want to take advantage of this wonderful big deal price. What does big stand for? Before it's gone. Before it's gone. I learned that right before Christmas. Oh. Um, I missed an email. This is <laughs> fantastic. What you're going to love about it, you've got those wonderful little scallop edges that keeps food or makes food a little more stick resistant. Yeah. And if you're cutting something lengthwise like this zucchini, and look at, oh, we've got those ribeyes coming up. Yeah. From Ristelli. Ooh, that's Very right. Very nice. And look at that. How about that little... You need your weight in protein, sir. Oh, yes, I'm doing that. Or, hey, look at this, filet of tomato. Yeah, that's how good that is. It'll filet the filet of a filet. And even frozen food. So it's a knife that you could use and abuse. Look at that. Yeah. I've I seen wonder you do who, that live before. Yeah, well, that was me that did that. Is that you in the yeah. video? <laughs> that's me. Is that you in the video? <laughs> it doesn't make that's sense, does it? Yeah. But um, I was just cutting up celery here. Celery is fibrous and stringy, right? Yeah. And you need a super sharp knife, particularly when you're making mirepoix for soup stews and, and whatnot. That's right. So this is going to be ideal for that. We also, uh, uh, Chef Jeremy cut up um, hard butternut squash, and it's easier for us to say. Yeah. The zucchini. I did, uh, just dropped on uh, QVC Plus this weekend, a new low-carb zucchini recipe with spiralized zucchini noodles. Ooh, I love it's it. zucchini noodle carbonara. Well, take a look. Oh, I love that. Well, and it's very low-carb and high in protein. You know what I've been doing? I've been making baba ganoush. Oh, and nice. I love that. And I do this. This is actually how I cut my my, my um, slices of cucumber. And I just take a piece of this and I dip that into my baba ganoush. Is your lovely wife a cook? Yeah, she, well, you know what? I had the problem, I hover. When she cooks, I'm always you like, hover. honey, you know, if you get a little small, I'm terrible like this. So Are I you a little? Most, I do most of the you're, you're, you're a helicopter spouse. <laughs> but she's a wonderful, she's actually the baker. She does all the baking. She does all the baking. Yeah, so That's fantastic. I do all, most of the cook, cooking, but. That's nice. Yeah. So, and again, the, uh, a good set of knives, you know, a sharp knife, we've said this many times, is safer than a dull knife. Because remember, with a dull knife, you're more likely to press hard and slip. With a sharp knife, you have total control. So whether I'm going because long... Because the knife is doing the work. The knife is doing the work. You're not slipping. It's doing what you want it to do. And so, and you're going to get all and this these... this is knives. cucumber, not um, zucchini, right? That's cucumber there, yeah. And again, you have a smaller blade. So if you did want to do that with this knife here, maybe you don't have big cats. Maybe you like to do this chopping where you just sort of keep the tip down. It's called mincing. This mm -hmm. is a great knife for that. And you get all six knives in that set. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful cucumbers for maybe a nice Greek salad. Mmm. Yes. Delightful. Yum. All right. So let's take you through what you're getting in this set. You're getting the paring knife, utility knife, the five-inch Santoku, the sandwich spreader knife, 
This is a 7 inch Santoku and a chef's knife. You get the protective covers or sheaths that go along with each, and you get the 11 by 14 cutting board. This is red. I also have it in gray. This is the black. And finally, the blue. 2,600 left in the blue. In this show alone, we've now taken orders for over 3,300 orders, okay. and I have 700 people on the phone lines. I want everyone to stay put and be sure and grab, stay put, um, uh, be sure and grab uh, your set of knives because we're not reordering this set. Yeah. And that is really, really special. Sir, does this wrap you up? That's it for me. Enjoy football today. Oh, thank you very All much. All right, pal. Too, we'll yeah. see you soon. Go birds. All right, go birds. <laughs> I'm very subtle. Go birds. Yeah. Who are they playing? I don't care. <laughs> as long as